Kohler 25 horsepower engine racing. Can't seem to adjust high speed idle after rebuilding carb. Hello, thank you for allowing me to assist you. My name is I will be happy to assist you with your concern today. I will always try to reply back to you right away however please understand that I may be busy answering another customer back and thus it may sometimes take time to reply back to you. As soon as I return I will be sure to reply back to you as soon as I am able to. Have you checked to see if it is running lean or has an air leak? Thanks, Joe. I've adjusted the idle fuel adjusting needle to service manual specs. Turn CW until IT seats, then back off one and a half turns I don't see any excessive smoke and engine not misfiring. Only symptom is racing when applying throttle. Throttle can be all the way down to idle and still seems to be too fast. Scratching my head. Mark, an engine at idle with the actual linkage at idle and yet still revving is usually an indication of an air leak and therefore running lean. An air leak will allow extra air into the engine, combined with fuel it will run faster and faster. If it still doesn't idle correctly with gov disconnected slash all the way down this is also another good indication of an air leak. Thus the above is the first place I would like you to start and then we can proceed further if needed. Thank you. Bonuses are appreciated. If for any reason you are not satisfied please reply back to me for further assistance to which I will be glad to help you. The rating system is only to rate me as an expert not the site or the product. If you have any problems for any reason please reply back and let me know. Thanks again for using Just Answer and have a great day. If you need any further assistance you can reply back at any time for my help. I'd be happy to answer any other questions you have even if not related. Could you be more specific? Air leak between head of carb and the carb body. Air leak between carb body and intake manifold. Or is there any other place to look? Other than a visual inspection, how can I determine if there is an air leak? There's also a gasket between top of carb and the air cleaner base. All gaskets are brand new. They were installed without any type of sealer or adhesive. Thank you, Mark. Mark, you would need to preform and leak down test. This is preformed with a special kit for checking this. A leak down test checks it all. Thanks, Joe. What is an acceptable leak down percent or pounds pressure below 100 pounds that would rule out air leak as the cause of the high speed revving problem? I've worked two very long days and haven't had a chance to purchase or make a leak down gauge but I definitely intend to follow your advice and run this test. Thank you so much. Hi Mark, zero pressure loss, there are high pressure leak down kits and low pressure as well, you can also have something that leaks under a vacuum but not pressure and vice versa as well. You can also check for air leaks at gasket areas using carb cleaner and spraying if idle changes up or down you found a leak, pending it's not misting into the air intake. Leak down testing is completely different from a compression test. A compression test is done with a compression tester by the engine creating its own pressure compression whereas air leak down testing is done by putting air into the engine from outside and checking zero loss. Thanks, Joe. A leak down test was done. There was very small drop in pressure but nothing significant. I tried again after warming up the engine a little and saw even less pressure loss. I'm not seeing any change in the carb after the gasket areas check you mentioned. 
Use spray and carb cleaner and spray in the gasket areas while engine is running because it's idling so fast. Have I explained the engine has plenty of power but the high idle speed without a load doesn't respond to screw adjustment? When I engage the power takeoff and blades begin spinning or even without PTO engaged if I'm driving upgrade a little the RPM will drop and I have to increase throttle to maintain speed. Maybe the internal parts of the governor are the source of the problem. Or the governor spring tension isn't offsetting the, the regulating pin when it engages the cross shaft. Engine has 550 hours before the heads and carb was done. There was no excessive speed issues before the rebuild and I'm positive there would have been a serious leak down had I done the test before I took heads off. That's why I replaced the valves. The margin left after grinding them was too small. Never had this problem before I removed the governor arm. What else could I try after the carb spray? I would be glad to rate you if you need that now. I just thought that was done after the issue was resolved. Good morning Mark, don't worry about rating me until you are ready to do so, but know you can at any time and I am still going to continue to assist you. If you disconnect the guff from the carb slash linkage if it is the problem then the engine should go to idle speed when throttle is adjusted, does it? If so then yes this would suggest a governor related issue, be it adjustment, wrong mounting hole or actual internal gov mechanical components which we can look into after you check the above if that leads to actual mechanical failure. For that note I would need the exact model number of the engine. Thanks, Joe. Disconnecting the governor has made no change in engine racing at high speed when at idle. I can move the governor arm with my fingers and the engine will slow to idle. Throttle linkage using hand controls will not force linkage to slow to idle. Engine specs you ask for Toro Zero Turn More in 1997 with Kohler 25 horsepower engine family, SKH725U1 G2 RA model, CH25S, command horizontal shaft 25 horsepower, spec now. 68,576 Dispel, CC, 725 Serial No. Slash P the photos I sent at 11.34 p.m. before this post, shows throttle played at slow idle but IT will not close any more than in the picture unless I push linkage with my fingers. First photo in this post shows the throttle linkage with hand control lever all the way down to slow. Second photo pencil points in the direction that governor arm needs to move to slow engine speed. Third photo is an overview of the lineage. Joe I'm still having no luck with the idle speed no matter what I do the only thing that brings it down is to manually push the governor arm with my finger. I was hoping the pictures that I sent you maybe give you some ideas. I'm thinking I have to replace the governor which means taking the engine out but I don't want to do that and so I rule everything out. I'm going to do a leak down test again and confirm my results from the first two times. P.S. Do you know what RPMs are for idle and max? I installed a tachometer and I'm not sure if the readings are accurate or not. Time mark Morning Mark, the fact that you can push down the GOV arm and the RPM decrease to normal tells me that the GOV is either incorrectly adjusted, something is loose, spring in wrong location or an actual mechanical failure within the GOV assembly. The other thing to first check is that the GOV moves very easily, it should not stick or feel sticky at points, if it does not move easy then you would want to clean the assembly and carb, first try some penetrating oil on the linkage to see if that frees the stickiness at present. Thanks, Joe. Nothing is sticking. Everything moves freely. I sent some pictures have you received them? Also sent engine specs. 
maybe some insight after seeing them. You didn't acknowledge either of them. Have to say not hearing from you for six days is unacceptable. I called customer service a few days ago and then assured me you would get back. I called again last night and got more assurances. I certainly understand everyone has issues whether personal or otherwise. Just thought you owed me the courtesy of an explanation. Mark I do apologize for not getting back to you sooner, while there was a reason I was away I can assure you that I did not ignore you and as soon as I was able I did reply to you like I always will for people I am communicating with. Like I was explaining before the gov is most likely the problem is how I explained if you manually disconnect or move it back the idle returns. I note in your one picture you have a marking on the lever for the linkage and that it is what appears to be able 90 degrees off from the marking on the shaft. Other than that I note you already tried adjustment and changing spring location and so long as everything was put back together correctly this seems to suggest actual internal gov problems. Have you already taken it apart to inspect? Thanks, Joe. No that involves taking main drive puyi off and then a cover. It hard to get tools in there to work may have to remove engine from mower. Correct Mark, I was actually more so wondering in terms of when you worked on it the first time. Everything up to now suggests a gut problem from the manual disconnection and moving of the lever for correct slower idle to the fact you have adjusted, move the spring and everything moves freely. Thanks, Joe. In order to remove the governor arm I had to pry upward pretty hard straight up to get it to slide off the cross shift. You noted the mark on the cross shift I put that there to see if it was still causing the linkage to move when you asked me to disconnect linkage from governor that shaft rotates and if it's clamped to the lever it regulates the linkage. What I don't understand is the spring tension is supposed to neutralize the governor's positioning of the throttle when the load is applied and then disengaged. Before I take anything apart internally I will do leak down test again, not expecting any different results than last time. Please keep me updated. Thanks, Joe. Hi Joe, I would like to keep my question open while I take apart the cover that has the governor inside. I have to take the engine out of the machine to get to all the bolts once I have it apart I'll tell you what I found. PS leak down test showed minimal pressure loss again. Mark, you can reply back at any time. Thanks, Joe. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.